Seven years ago, I posted a solution to one of the problems that was posted on one of the best websites on the internet for mathematics, Math Stack Exchange. In this video, I'm going to show you how I solved the problem and why the trick that was used in that problem is so important and how you can use it to solve a lot of questions of similar ideas. So we will get right into the video. Now we have this equation on the screen and I will show you how I solved it. So to begin off, we need to understand what is the LCM of these numbers 2, 7, 13 and 14. So the LCM of these numbers is basically 182. But for some reason in the actual solution, I took 364. So we will go with this. Now, why is it important to find the LCM? So I'm going to make a very clever substitution here, which would basically change the whole equation into an exponent form. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to prove there are infinitely many solutions to this equation. So first of all, how many terms are there on the left hand side? There are four terms. So we will begin with four. So I will substitute each of those variables A, B, C, D as four to the power something. Now, what is four to the power 182 divided by two? So I have to put four to the power something here, which would make it uh, A squared, four to the power 182 X. So I can write it as this. And now you can see A squared is basically four to the power 364 X, which is what we want. Similarly, if I go down here and I want to write b as 4 to the power something, what should I write? I have to write something such that b to the power 7 becomes 4 to the power 364x. So if you divide 364 by 7, this basically gives you 5 to x, right? Now, go here, go to c. Now, c is the power of c is 13, so we can write c to the power uh, equals to 4 to the power something, which makes c to the power 13 as 4 to the power 364x, the same thing that we are doing before. So you will see why is it useful. So first of all, if you divide 364 by 13, you get uh, 326 and then 8. So basically 28 x. And finally, d can be given as uh, if you divide 14 and then you get, I think, 26 x, 4 to the power 26 x. So these are the values for a, b, c, and d. Now, we will also take e equals to 4 to the power y. And now let's proceed with the problem. So with this weird substitutions in hand, our equation is going to become something very easy to tackle, you will see. So this whole squared plus b to the power seven, right? b to the power seven, four to the power 52 x whole to the power seven, plus four to the power 28 x whole to the power 13, plus four to the power 26 x whole to the power 14 equals to four to the power 15 y. Now, the numbers have been chosen carefully so that each of these terms are 4 to the power 364 x plus 4 to the power 364 x plus 4 to the power 364 x plus 4 to the power 364 x. The reason would be clear now because the reason we chose 4 as the base because there were 4 terms and now you can understand 4 same things added together is basically 4 times 4 to the power 364 x which is equal to 4 to the power 15 y. Now apply the rule for exponents. This is 4 to the power 364x plus 1 equals to 4 to the power 15y. And therefore, this is only true when 364x plus 1 is basically equal to 15y. Now, we need positive solutions. And with a little investigation, you can find the positive solutions. X would work if we have the terms 11 plus 15n for positive integers n. So we can use this form of x and y can also be written as 267 plus 364 n, where n belongs to natural numbers. Now this form works because the base solution of this equation always has a solution in integers. This is because of Bizout's theorem, which states that this is basically 15 y minus 364 x equals to 1. And since 15 and 364 have a GCD or the greatest common divisor of 1, so this equation always has a positive solution, a positive integer solution. And since this is the case, you can just find the base solution and then try to parameterize it using any n. So using this, we can finally write a base solution. So just take any n. Uh, actually, you can also use 0 here. So I would just write 0. So x and y can be written as 11, 267. This is just one of the solutions. And any other solution can be found out. And the total, the principle, I would say, uh, here would give you the solutions. So a was 4 to the power uh, 182x. So basically, 4 to the power 11 plus 15n all into 
this would be a now b would be 4 to the power and now we would see b was 52x so basically 52 times 11 plus 15n and in this way you can write all of the terms basically up to e where you just substitute the values of x and y and now when you put any value of n here from 0 to all the way up to positive integers you will always get positive solutions for this equation which means it has infinitely many solutions so this is something you could use if there were more terms as well you could use it so this is how you are going to solve this kind of equation if there were five terms we would have taken base as five so the correct answer would be infinitely many solutions and this trick can be used in many other applications as well so i hope you like this video let me know in the comment section how you like this approach and for the link in the description you can see the math tech exchange post where i did it almost seven years ago from now is it, it is 2024 right now so thank you again and subscribe to the channel if you're new here